two cars here at Vagabond Builds, and we're gonna be talking about both. The Ionic 5 SEL trim compared to the all new Ionic 6 SEL trim. And we're gonna be talking about exteriors, interiors, and specs about both these cars. Check out this review here at Vagabond Builds. Now let's go ahead and show you that. But before we go, check out these key fobs. Both different, just like both cars. Now let's start. So as mentioned, we got two cars. To my right, the Ionic 5 2023 in the SEL trim, all-wheel drive, compared to the new Ionic 6 that is added to the Ionic line at Hyundai. And we're gonna be talking about, again, the exteriors, interiors, and specs. But before we do, it is not a sponsored video and we are not sales reps. So there's two buttons we'd like you guys to push, the like button, because it really helps us out. And if you guys like our content, subscribe to our channel because we appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. Now, if you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. And a special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Hyundai for providing us both of these beautiful cars for this review. That is in Roseville, California. Now, stay tuned. Right after the specs, we're going to drop that MSRP sticker and we're going to give it to you guys so you guys get an idea of the price tag and what exactly comes with these cars. Now guys, let's talk Ionic 5 and Ionic 6. So now let's talk specs about the Ionic 5 to my right and the Ionic 6 to my left. So pretty much both of them use the same exact powertrains and being the all-wheel drives SEL trims, they come with 320 horsepower and 446 pounds feet of torque, everybody. Now you're looking at the Ionic 5 right now and a little bit about the MPGE is 113 city with a 90 highway and a 101 combined compared to the Ionic 6, which is 111 city, 94 highway and a 103 combined. Giving you both zero to 60 at 5.26 seconds with a 77.4 kilowatt battery. Now, everybody, to a full charge, the Ionic 5 gets 266 miles to where the Ionic 6 gets 270 miles to a full charge to where the Ionic 6 takes 7.5 hours to fully charge to where the Ionic 5 takes 8.5 hours to fully charge. Now let's go ahead and close these hoods and talk front ends. Now, of course, they are completely different looking cars to where this one, you kind of have a, I don't know, I would say a hybrid in between a sedan and a compact SUV or a crossover, right? Compared to a four-door coupe look. Now, being the four-door coupe, honestly, if you ask me, kind of has a European touch, such as like the Porsche Panamera, or in the rear end, the VW Beetle. Now, as promised, here are the MSRP stickers to the Ionic 5 with its price tag compared to the MSRP sticker to the Ionic 6 and its price tag. Again, let us know what you guys think about both. Now, to my right, if you want to know the color, this is a digital teal color on the Ionic 5 to where the Ionic 6 has a Serenity white paint job. Now, of course, you have the LED. Now, both Ionics have a pixel theme to where you have all these little squares on their headlights, LED lighting on the front, bumper sensors integrated on both on the bumper covers with your matte gray look and the black gloss just all coming together, giving it kind of that nice Hyundai feel. Over to the Ionic 6. This is the new addition to the Ionic line and the full LED lighting, of course, with the pixel theme inside the headlights. Black gloss on the interior side of that lighting, full LED lighting. I mentioned that, I believe. Bumper sensors integrated with that black gloss, and of course, a little bit more sporty and aggressive with the cuts inside the lower, I mean, on that lower bumper. Now, Coming over to the side, everybody. What do we see different? Of course, the wheel wheel trim with the grooves, giving it kind of a not so boring look. We're dropping down to the rims. The, the tires are Michelin prim Primacies all seasons, running you at the 235-55-19s, and these are 19-inch black gloss machine surface silver rims compared to the 20 inches 245-40 
20s and they're running the Pirelli P0 tire. Parking marker here to where the parking marker is not anywhere integrated on the car itself or the body. Now side mirrors, of course, different shapes, different looks, integrated lighting with the pixel, but also you come over to the Ionic 6, still pixel, but just different placement and uh, area of the side mirror. Blind spot assist, they do not come automatic foldable. You get a uh, keyless fob entry, dropping down, get a more of a simple look on the Ionic 6 to where there's a little bit more busy and a little bit more going on with the Ionic 5 with the trim and that matte black plastic, the lining, of course, this is a cover, so don't think that this is offset. Let me go ahead and rip that off, being a brand new 2023 dealership car. But that is in that kind of piano black or black gloss trim, finishing off with that matte black plastic. Continuing over to the rear end. Now, before we continue, I want to show you guys is both of them, the Ionic 5 and the Ionic 6, are automatic foldable. Go ahead and press that button and it closes the lid, so that's on both. Now, coming over to the rear end, before I continue talking about this, the length and the width and the height on both cars are completely different. So, let's talk about the Ionic 6 specs of the size. Now, on the Ionic 6, you get a 191 length, 74 width, and a 59 height with a ground clearance of 5.6 inches. Over to the Ionic 5, you get a 182.5 length, 74 width, and a 63 height with a ground clearance of 6.1 inches. So overall, the Ionic 5 is a bit higher off the street or the road. Now, rear ends are completely different. I'm not even gonna try to show you guys any similarities, but literally the pixel theme coming in both. Tail lights are completely different, but look at the Ionic 6. I just wanna kind of point this out to you guys. VW Beetle kind of Panamera Porsche look. This brake light lights up and the pixels pop out. Hyundai emblem with the lip, putting some more back or downforce on that rear end. LED lighting going across. Now, again, these tail lights, kind of 911 feel. And then on the bottom, bumper sensors with the nice sporty cuts. Check out our more in-depth review video on the Ionic 6. This is just more of a comparison video. And there's a little button there to pop open that tailgate. Let's go ahead and pop open this. But let me show you guys bumper sensors on the Ionic 5 with the camera here. Ionic 5 emblem and a spoiler is completely on top with the brake light in that. But let's go ahead and open uh, this tailgate. Also opens now, let's talk some cargo room. You're looking at the Ionic 5 now, and a little bit about the cargo room. 27 cubic feet with the seats up, the second row seating. If you were to drop those seats down, it is 59 cubic feet with those seats down. Now, if we go ahead and head over to the Ionic 6, you get about 11.2 inches of cubic feet on this, so you're losing a whole lot more on the trunk space. Both those seats do drop down, 60 on the passenger side per center and a 40% on the driver side. And you do that by these two level, two levers here, or these pull levers, okay? No, um, no uh, spare tire on the Ionic 6 for anybody who'd like to know with a little bit of catch net right here. Let's go ahead and shut that by this nice, beautiful, convenient button. Now Ionic 5, lifting that, let's show you guys what's under, okay? Tire mobility kit. 12 volt outlet on the driver's side with some hook tie downs. And again, there is no spare tire on the Ionic 5 either. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below because honestly, I would have loved to see some spare tires on these cars. Now, dropping this tailgate, we talked about the specs, some exterior and some cargo room. Let's go ahead and show you guys the interiors on both these cars. So now sitting inside the 2023 Ionic 5 and Right off the bat, guys, I'm going to just show you a quick simulator or comparison from the Ionic 5 over to the Ionic 6. Now, of course, there's going to be going to be a lot of differences. Now, starting from the center console here, we have a little aisle way with some cubby room, USB-A, 12 volt outlet, cup holders here with USB-A plugins and a wireless charging pad right under those plugins and some more personal space with a pop. Uh, pop-up lid on that 
uh, armrest, okay? In front of that center console, similar to the Ionic 6 is the same exact uh, control units for your temperature controls, dual climate controls, your map, navy, media system buttons, parking, camera button is the same with your parking sensors. 12.3 inch screens, cluster and infotainment screen. All right, you can change the theme to the cluster if you're messing around, but for the sake and the time, the sake of the time in the video, we aren't gonna go through everything like your maps and all that stuff where you set up your vehicle and you get all your safety, um, driving convenience, smart cruise control, parking safety and all that good stuff. The steering wheel looks pretty similar. Leather wrap steering in the Ionic 6 and the Ionic 5, but one thing to take into consideration, these little pixels here do not light up on the Ionic 5. To where the Ionic 6, you get the pixel light ups and ambient lighting around the car on the dashboard. But the Ionic 5 gets them around the speakers, covers. So different placements for ambient lighting. Take that into consideration also. Door panel's completely different. The handle, you got your control unit for your windows and your side mirrors. The Ionic 5 does come automatic foldable side mirrors on the SEL. Sorry, so that was my mistake. But the Ionic 6 does not have automatic foldable side mirrors on the SEL, okay? Just remember that. The Ionic 5 being a little bit more um, expensive when you're talking about uh, the money or the price tag, it is a little bit more luxury feel on the interior side of the car with this material dress seat, the pixels, the seats just look a whole lot more richer. And these are manual, the passenger uh, seats do, are controlled manually on the Ionic 5 and the Ionic 6, okay? But the driver seats do come controlled electric, okay? So that's something to take into consideration. No sunroof, you just have your true light lighting, not in that soft yellow. I like the new lights that Hyundai is putting inside their cars. Now. Showed you guys the front end. Let's go ahead and show you guys the second row seating on the Ionic 5. Then we're going to jump into the Ionic 6. So remember that 57 cubic feet of what I was talking about in this Ionic 5? This is what it looks like. Connecting, dropping these seats and connecting that trunk space or that cargo room over to the second row. A lot of room. You can drop a lot of things in here. Snowboard skis, bikes, camping gear, whatever you can think of. Even a uh, snow blower maybe or a dryer or maybe a washer. I have no idea why you would do that, but do that and I guarantee you can fit. So popping up these seats, same look coming in over from the front to the back. You don't have the pixel theme on the second bench of the Ionic 5. Dropping this armrest with your cup holders. All right, let's go ahead and pop these seats back. You can change the angles on both these backrests. All right, nope, sorry. So let's do a space test. I'm about six feet, two inches. Legroom is there, head clearance completely there. Uh, long road trip car, this is a check. In front of us, you have that uh, back of the front seat dressed in that kind of cloth canvas feel with some pocket room. And in between those front seats are the USB-A plugins with some little cubby room down here for like chapstick and change and whatever. Door panels, same look coming in over from the front to the back with the ambient lighting around the speaker. And then you get your pixel with that nice kind of h uh, leather feel, if it's leather, but uh, your vents on your B-pillars, very cool. All right, and up top you get this nice, wanted to show you guys that kind of liner that goes around that h material inside this SEL. Up top, oh, snap panels with your lighting. Now guys, this is the Ionic 5. Let's go ahead and show you guys a quick uh, look of the Ionic 6. Now inside the Ionic 6, the brand new interior to the Ionic 6 and right off the bat with the black look, the center console with that ambient lighting and the pixel theme, the uh, straight edge feel, kind of the boxy right rectangular, uh, futuristic feel. Let me know what you guys think of the new Ionic 6 in the comment section below. Super cool, ambient lighting on your door panels and you can change the colors on that also. But guys, remember what I said, the similarities, what you guys see from the Ionic 5 over to the Ionic 6 and that is kind of the steering wheel look, all right? With your uh, sh um, control little knobs here and your parking shifter knob here. Your 12.3 inch screens in both. 
and then your control units for your temperature right here. That's pretty much the similarity I can point out to you guys, but overall it's completely different. Like the center console with your bridge here, more pocket room, all right? Cup holders are placed here instead of here. Your control units to your window is in the middle on your um, center console. Wireless charging pad is up here, USB-A, and you get the USB-C plugins inside the Ionic 6. Ionic 5 comes only USB-A plugins. Door panel. There's nothing other than that handle on that door panel with that kind of line, lines going through that door panel. With the ambient lighting, kind of makes it look 3D, kind of plays with your eyes a little bit. Speaker covers and that silver with some more personal pocket room. On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, you get your control units with your buttons, lift gate button, charging button, traction control, parking brake, and your uh, controls for your mirrors with your lighting on your dashboard. 12.3 inch infotainment screen and a cluster. You can change theme and same exact setup in tech that they're using. Apple Car uh, Play, Android Auto Assist. You do have the Bluetooth uh, equipped. Now, dual climate control can control the map, navigation, media, parking camera with your parking sensor button, climate, wireless charging pad. Um, yeah, pretty much it. So that's the look on the um, inside of the Ionic 6. Let me know what you guys think. h -Text leather. Now, remember I was telling you guys, not h -Text leather, h -Text material. Remember I was telling you guys a little bit more richer feel on the Ionic 5. You get the pixels here on the backrest, but overall it looks a little bit richer on the seats. If we're talking seats, the Ionic 5 to me looks a little bit more rich. What do you guys think? Leave in the comment section below. And just overall, whatever you guys think, up top, got that kind of canvas feel with the same exact similar look with the lighting on the Ionic 6, right? No soft yellow, but that true light lighting. Very cool. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the second row seating. Second row seating to the Ionic 6, and this is what it looks like. Now remember, this is more of a sedan. This is not a kind of crossover slash compact SUV look or feel. So this is what you're, get, you're getting on the second row seating, armrest, all right. This side of the seat or the backrest does come down, connects uh, to the trunk. And this is a 40 percenter, 60 and 40, all right? Um, car seat compatible, both cars. Now, I'm about six feet, two inches. Leg room is there, but the only problem is the Ionic 6, I'm touching the top ceiling, all right? So being that four-door coupe look, you're touching that. Just take that into consideration for us tall people. The door panels look the same coming in over from the front over to the back with the ambient lighting, your speaker cover, handle, and your little windshield button. I mean your window button. A little bit more space for trash, chapstick, stuff like that. USB-C plugins on the back of the center console. A little bit more cubby room. That's pretty similar to the Ionic 5 pockets similar with that net and a little bit just uh, lower feel on the back of those seats so pretty much this is the ionic 6 guys as promised we're bringing you these cars in this review so you guys get an idea of what they look on the exterior and in the inside of these cars now we appreciate you guys watching our channel here at vagabond builds Keep watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Stay tuned. We got more things coming. God bless you guys.